Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video and it's the last time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel I came across a video of brother Shamsi being handcuffed by police in London supposedly over defending himself against a new attacker who is supposedly a Muslim that was allegedly getting in Shamsi's face insulting his mother and declaring him a non-Muslim. Again, allegedly, after Brother Shamsi defended himself, the attacker got the police involved. Let's roll the clip. It's a legal country, not as your black. Not as your black. Hello, you're at the. Now I was trying to break it up, so if you want an account or you want some evidence to show. As you saw from the footage, we didn't actually see the exchange between Shamsi and the alleged attacker, nor did we see Shamsi defend himself. But it was quite clear that Shamsi was handcuffed by the police and the other man was making some sort of accusations. The source for this information is a Twitter account that supports Shamsi's dawah work. I have no reason to doubt the source as the claims made by this individual are straightforward. This is not the first time Shamsi has found himself involved in street attacks. I've made a previous video on this where I condemned three supposed Muslims who jumped the brother as he was travelling to or from the masjid. I think it's embarrassing and disgraceful for Muslim men to be fighting with each other in the streets. We already have Islamophobes looking for any excuse to ridicule us. We shouldn't be fighting like this publicly and giving them the fuel they desperately need for their propaganda. But I can understand why Shamsi would defend himself when the supposed attacker got in his face. Number one, Muslims are permitted to practice self-defence if someone attacks us. Number two, Shamsi no doubt will have trauma attached to his previous attack and most likely wanted to ensure it didn't happen again. It was also claimed that Shamsi was giving dawah to Christians at the time of the incident and that three shahadas had taken place and that is what I think we should concentrate on. Let's take a look at a short clip of Shamsi in English, I bear witness. There is nothing worthy of worship in truth except Allah. That Muhammad is the last messenger is the last messenger and the servant of Allah. My brother. <laughs> That's a blessing before going to work. It's a blessing for me so you made my day. Allah You guys make my day. I swear. Thank you very much. I'm happy for you. And I'll bless you. And I'm very happy for you. Whether you like or dislike or agree or disagree with Shamsi, we have to admit he does a lot of good work in regards to bringing people to Islam and rather than tear him down we should concentrate on the positives. That's not to say respectful discussions or debates shouldn't be had. I think it is healthy for this to happen in a respectful manner but bashing fellow Muslims online may influence impressionable viewers to involve themselves in violence which isn't good for our community at all. Before we judge others let's take a look at where we are lacking and let's be accountable and repent for the sins we commit. Before we police our fellow Muslims. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from being attacked. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all away from ignorance and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all for our sins. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free telegram group via the link in the description where we as Muslims can speak freely and without censorship about issues like this and in order to guide and support each other in our deen. And remember to like, subscribe and become a channel member for access to exclusive content. Until next time inshallah, Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar Allah Allah